Hello everybody, this is Money Mom. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about 11 things I refuse to buy. Before getting started, I want to say I know there's probably things you refuse to buy and our lists may all be very different and that's okay. It's what we get value out of and what we don't get value out of and that may change over time. So, let me get started. Number one, one of the things that I refuse to buy because I don't feel it's worth the cost are magazines at the checkout stand. I do have a few magazine subscriptions but and I do actually get some for free but I don't feel I get value out of paying full price for a magazine at the checkout stand. Number two, subscription boxes or auto ship products. Mostly because I don't want to make a monthly commitment to something that is the main reason that I do not purchase those items. Number three, Right now, I'm not doing a gym membership. I've gotten value out of that in the past, but I didn't really want a monthly fee to do this. I have found many exercise videos at home, and my dear friend and I are going on walks six days a week. We walk at the Super Target, and I'm also lifting weights a couple days a week. I will probably be increasing my exercise, but I'm taking it slow because in the past, I go on full force, and then sometimes I've injured myself. So I'm being a little more cautious and gentle with myself right now and making sure. Number four, meal kits. I've known many people that have gotten great value out of these and I've heard many good things about them, but I just haven't felt like it would be worth the cost. And right now with me combining keto and paleo, I'm not sure if any of those would be able to adapt to my eating pattern right now. Number five, a brand new hardcover book. Many times what I've noticed is a new book's coming out. Many people are excited about it, but they haven't heard reviews on it yet, and they'll buy it brand new as a hardcover. First of all, I always want to find out what other people think of the book and read reviews before I purchase it. And I don't want to spend like anywhere from $17 to $21 on a book because I'm not sure if I'll want to keep it as a keepsake. Now, I will tell you this. If and or Amy Decision from the Tightwad Gazette came out with Part 4 Tightwad Gazette, I probably would purchase that new. Number six, any kind of impulse buy. The good news is I'm, I'm 54 years young, and the older that I get, the better I am about really evaluating whether I want to purchase something and really thinking about it before spending money on it which is a really positive thing. Number seven, generally, unless I absolutely have to, shipping costs on anything, I don't generally pay to have something shipped to me, unless I have to. Number eight, phone apps. I get enough apps for free on my phone, and I don't download a lot of apps, so that's something else I don't. Number nine, concession food. For example, if I go to the dollar movie, I don't, first of all, I eat before I go, and I don't go and purchase popcorn and things like that because considering how cheaply you can make it, I just can't bring myself to do it. <laughs> Number 10, Starbucks, mostly because I can make the stuff at home. I do like Starbucks drinks, but so many of the Frappuccinos and all that have so much high sugar. Right now, that's not something I'm doing. And Number 11, any kind of pre-purchase item that you sign up for. The reason why, and it could be a book, it could be music, it could be anything. It could be an electronic because it hasn't been evaluated yet and I don't know, you know, what other people are going to rate it. And, you know, I'm afraid that if I put in for a pre-purchase item, we'll say it's a book or maybe a music CD, and say after it comes out, people are not happy with it and I've pre-purchased this item, I'm not going to be really very happy about it. I wait till something's out for a while before I purchase it and see what everyone else thinks first. <laughs> anyway, these are the 11 items that I pretty much most of the time refuse to buy. I want to know in the comments below, what are items you refuse to buy? I bet that we all have different items. I always love to hear your comments. It's one of the funnest things about having a YouTube channel is reading your fabulous comments because they're so diverse. Well, that's it for now. I'll see you tomorrow morning. And this is Money Mom signing off. And as always, I love you. Bye-bye.